Hi, I'm Michael Townsend. And I'm Leah Smith. And we are tape artists. Uh, we would actually fall into the category of professional tape artists. And what that means is that we draw with tape for a living. Uh, myself personally, I've been drawing with tape for 30 years. And I've been working with different collaborators, a crew of tape artists. And using this medium, we've given ourselves the freedom to travel around the world and draw on buildings. Two stories by like 100 feet or 200 feet. So these are like taking over the size of sometimes skyscrapers, sometimes museums, community centers. And then the other half is when we come into schools like this and allow those communities to take over their own walls. Yeah, so we love teaching the collaborative process of drawing. And so what you see here on this wall is just a good example of people using this medium for the first time. They're given instructions on how to use it technically, but the most important thing is that they are learning how to communicate ideas to each other and work towards a end goal that is not concrete from the beginning. So they have to respond in real time and really listen to each other and be aware of what's going on around them. And the results can be uh, alarmingly good. So tape art started as an art medium in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, it was a group of, of young artists that took advantage of the fact that Providence was a ghost town at that time. And after a while, people aren't anxious at all whether the work will stay up, is it gonna damage anything. And once you've built that rapport, you have power and you can start to look at any wall and you can start to get permission to draw on any wall. And that has given us a great opportunity to travel, meet new people and introduce people to art. And cities will bring you in if they want to do something for their public, for the citizens of their city. Big, bombastic, memorable, but temporary. We're a pretty good fit. Mm. And a lot of teaching. And a lot of teaching. So we really enjoy introducing this to new people. And I think over the years we've racked up. You've taught a lot of people. I've taught a lot of people. I think I think we calculated that I've worked with over 50,000 first time tape artists. And so we've been very interested in how groups perform together and how individuals take to this medium. We got to see some genuinely good drawings here in this school. It's a good litmus test for the health of the school. Last spring, we ran a teacher professional development workshop as part of a program called Art Allstate, which works with high school students every year to do large installation artworks. And that's how we met Hannah Close, who is one of the art teachers here. She's great. She felt really moved by that workshop and asked us if there was any way that we could be brought here to work with her students directly. And so, you know, we sort of started to talk about what that would look like, whether she has the walls, and what are her students like. And she actually worked very hard uh, and drummed up enough funding to have us here and work with six classes, yep. six or seven classes, six murals around the school, uh, taking up big walls. Yeah, she created uh, best case scenarios for us as temporary teachers coming into an environment like this. The ideal scenario for us is that we have a two hour block to work with the students. And we realized in order for that to happen, the school has to make arrangements, adjustments, schedule sac changes, sacrifices, but they did it. And the results uh, speak for themselves. Yeah. So what a workshop literally starts with us standing in front of a blank wall with a bag of tape and having the students stand opposite us and usually we allow them to just ask a couple questions. Mm -hmm. We basically say, hey, you have a couple of artists in front of you, what would you like to know? It also gives us a chance to sort of understand the student more. Asking someone to ask you questions is an insight into their levels of curiosity. Mm -hmm. It's an insight Engagement. into how comfortable they are with each other. Because you'll find that if they're more socially relaxed with each other, mm -hmm. they'll ask questions more easily. Everyone's got a question to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, for us, it's just a barometer for how they might collaborate together. Mm -hmm. And after that, it sort of segues really quickly into trying to gain a theme. So before we do any sort of like technical stuff to get uh, an agreement from the group about a direction to start. I think one of the reasons tape art does so well with new audiences is that within this medium is a hook for all types of learners, thinkers, and art approaches. And for some people, the idea of having power and ownership is a big deal. It's a huge catalyst to be able to look at a space and be like, wait, this is mine? I can draw on this? Uh, and just that alone will drive them to make good work. 